All right, here we are at Mission Control. This is Simeon from Praisetracks.com. We have audio and we have all systems go as we take a journey into an exciting area of music that Vienna Symphonic Library is building on. Uh, it's like a platform to me. I've always admired Vienna Symphonic Library and they just keep bringing out really cool, interesting things. So they introduced the Big Bang Orchestra last year with a free version, and I'm going to have links in the description to make sure you can get uh, get a copy of that. They have the synchron stage, and they recorded the entire orchestra playing all at the same time. You have this humongous ensemble, and that is what really gets me going. Is because when I can put my fingers on the keys and instantly have something very powerful and very big. This is just the free orchestra that we're listening to now. Last year, I started working on this Christmas project, and this. Big Bang Orchestra was just so powerful, so I used it on one of the songs. And you can see that it uses the Synchron player, which kind of has everything uh, that you need, mixers and editing and that type of thing. But you can see through the preset browser, I, you've got all of the different ones. So I've got the free basics loaded here. And you can see you've got short notes, long notes, marcatos, fast, uh, fast swells, and marcato swells and fast runs. What I love about the Synchron player and the way that they set Big Bang Orchestra up is the ease and fluidity of the key switching and that type of thing. So you can see the keys that are highlighted uh, in blue here. So we're going to go down to this section of the keyboard and you can see as I'm hitting these key switches, everything changes. So uh, the short notes. So let's just listen to the short notes. Uh, and this is the entire orchestra, all the sections uh, playing at once. So here we go. Yeah. So you can hear you hear that. And velocity controls how how big that gets. And I can use my expression. And just just listen to how powerful that is. And, and it just like energizes you. When... And then you can go to the, um, the long notes. Now the long notes are really beautiful. Here we go. See what I'm talking about? You know, it's just. And you hear the piccolo coming in. Yeah. Long, okay, this little the Mercado with, with long notes. And the mod wheel controls um, the switching between the longs and the marcato. Here we go. So it, it's basically just gives you just an instant, uh, an instant rush of sound. Um, and then you have fast swells. And these are performances, as so they have the orchestra performing all of these different things. Uh, the fast swells, it's not an envelope, it's actually the orchestra just swelling up in real time. And then you have the, the swells marcato. Yeah. And you can, once again, you have the mod wheel, you can switch back and forth. And then this is a little fun thing, they have the uh, fast runs. 
uh, which and and this is the free this is the free basics here that we're looking at. So yeah, so here we go. And so that's the whole orchestra performing that that run. Yeah, so you've got them going, you got them crisscrossing. They're there. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. The other thing I like about the synchron player is that you can you can resize the player and then you can scale the player. Uh, so I've got it at 100%. I'm going to put it at 125. And see, you can see that uh, that interface just scale up right there. Okay, so that's the free basics. So now let's go to Andromeda. So we're going to go to the Andromeda system here. Andromeda is an extension of the free basics but there's so much more i would recommend if you if you had the free basics andromeda would be the uh, next thing to get the way that i look at andromeda is the foundation of the big bang orchestra so the free basics gives you a taste but andromeda takes you and creates a foundation for me that's that's the way i look at at it so you have a switch here you can have the um, the piccolo on Or you can turn it off here. No, it's on. It's actually on. Here. Okay, I'm going to turn this up some more. So you hear the piccolo, and now you can turn the... You've got string sections, brass, all mixed in together here. So we have the shorts. And again, you notice how this interface changes. <laughs> you see the key switches and how it changes. And then you notice when you get to some of the articulations, you can you have the pink switches on the top here. So these are on the top. That's pretty, that's pretty wild. That's pretty bold. And that's why they call it Big Bang, because it is just big and full. Um, so let's go back to the long, some long notes. Listen to the long notes here. And you have um, non-marcato and marcato again. And the mod wheel just kind of helps you to get some more dynamics out of that. see how why what what happens to me I just get lost in because it just sort of starts playing when you go into a direction yeah I, I'm, I'm telling you it's beautiful this is the other thing about the um, the Big Bang Orchestra and the Synchron Player. Because they've used the Synchron Stage to record all of these different instrument packages, um, it's like you, you have a continuity. So when you have Andromeda, and then you add the other modules, every one of them have been recorded in the Synchron Stage. And so it gives you a, a, just a continuity, and everything just kind of fits together. So things don't sound disjointed when you're, when you're doing it. And you're going to see uh, as we get into some of these other libraries. So then you've got Dynamics. Uh, because everything is recorded in the same room. They've got control over all the audio and the, and the way the mics are set up. And speaking of mics, we can go into the mix tab and, and there you go. You've got the mixer. You have a room mix. The, um, you have a main mix. You have the surrounds, the high surrounds, uh, the decatrees, 
All of these packages share the same mic setups so you can mix and match sections. And so when we look, um, so when we look at this, I'm going to solo the high, the high strings because that's, you can mix the sections here. And because they're all playing at the same time, so you can blend the sections. So that's the high strings and let's, let's solo the low strings. And you can save these as mix presets. And you hear, and you see on the pan, the, uh, the panning, that, that it's, it's panned over. Uh, just just like it would set up, uh, just like the uh, the, or the orchestra would be set up. And so we have the, the high and the low strings soloed. And you've got horns and strings playing at the same time, so sometimes the horns can overwhelm. Uh, but having the ability to bring the string section mics up a little bit uh, kind of helps you to overcome some of that. Again, with the Synchron player, you have all of these ways that you can mix and control uh, all of these different sounds. You have EQs. Uh, so, so let's just look at the main mix here. So they've got uh, the equalizer here, and you, you've just got effects and EQ and all the stuff baked right into the Synchron player. And you can save mixer presets and be able to um, just go right back uh, to setting up custom mixes when you have all of the different uh, libraries loaded. You can go into the, um, the Andromeda presets here. So we have mixer presets, we have room mixes, uh, stereo decatry. So let's just pull up a stereo decatry mix and let's take a listen. So it's a much closer sound. And this is the slow dynamics. So you, you hear those swells. So let's just go back to the long notes. Uh, okay, soft, low brass. And uh, let's, let's listen. And thanks so much for joining me today. It's, uh, it's just an amazing day. This is this is this is this is where, what I love. <laughs> Just hearing beautiful sounds that Yeah. Yeah, it plays you. It's that's the thing. So the instruments play play me uh, sometimes uh and you can switch back and forth to these uh, short notes here. And it just makes it so easy to go back and forth between short notes. With the key switches. Okay. So that is Andromeda. Uh, so we're going to keep on going. It reminds me of like the voyagers that they sent out. And so they, they keep going out to all the different, um, oh man, all the different planets. Let's go to Black Eye. And Black Eye are phrases and effects. And once again, it gives you really cool performances, all performed by the, the orchestra. You know, you've got the sync, you've got the... Um, Synchron stage set up here with the entire orchestra playing all of these uh, different articulations and, you know, and performances. So let's just take a quick listen to, uh, to Black Eye. So you've got hits, so chord hits, unison hits. So that's a... So that's major chords.
Okay, so yeah, once you get used to the key switches, so you got you get up. So this just gives you real performances. Yeah. And those are good for stingers and that type of thing. Yeah, okay, listen to that. So it hits and it's just like... That's, that's interesting. Um, okay, so let's go to phrases and effects. That's the rips. We're gonna get, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's really cool, and clusters, and uh, we're gonna, clusters are kinda cool, so we're gonna go to uh, cluster to root. So watch, watch this. This is Praise Tracks. <laughs> So it goes from cluster to root, and then from root to cluster. So it kind of falls apart there. Um, and then the hits. Now listen. So that just gives you a lot of suspense. So Capricorn. Capricorn is a series of loops and riffs. Yeah, they've sampled these performances. Yeah, so you hear that? And it's um, and they have them like at, at 120 beats per minute recorded, but you can time stretch those be mindful when you're when you're working with time stretching and using multiple mic positions and that type of thing. Uh. Okay, so the cut release just cuts it off when I release the uh, key, but the note release lets the note release lets the note decay naturally. So you've got um, all of these different combinations of riffs that you can mix and match, and they're they're mapped once again with uh, key switches. So here we go. I'm just gonna... Yeah. And you can mix and match these. Yeah. So these are great idea. And you can actually play play a little uh, you know chords. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so you could you you can just you can just get lost in this, but you can program these uh, in your DAW to switch, um, and you can do all kinds of things. Um, you have um, attack and release times. You have controls over the filtering. Yeah, and you can assign these dynamically to uh, a controller uh, that you can do in real time. So you get control over the stretch. Yeah. And then you can actually control some of the the tuning differences in the uh, in the sections as as well. So 
you've got presets for 120 beats per minute and 130 and 140 beats per minute. So they've, they've given you some, some incremental tempo uh, choices, and then you can use the time stretching to kind of fill in uh, those in between, um, in between tempos. Uh, so that's great. So that's Capricorn. Uh, that's Capricorn. So Dorado. Dorado. Now, Dorado is just huge drums. I mean, you're talking about uh, taiko drums and um, just a huge. Let's just um, let's just take a look and see what. Um, OK. Yeah. So it's like I've opened up a bunch of tabs here. OK. So uh, Dorado is percussion ensembles. Yeah, monster drums. And um, yeah, so they've got huge taikos, uh, taiko drums, and concert toms, uh, cymbals, and gongs, and triangles. Uh, so, so let's take a listen at these. So we're just going to, yeah, we've got monster drums pulled up here. Um, so we've got uh, key switches for, for hard and soft hits. And that's kind of like some flams. Okay, yeah, so here we go. So you got, I think you got left and right hits from C and D. So soft hits. And hard. And you've got um, like flams like some flam hits. And when you when you start up in this in this section of the keyboard up here, uh, listen, it, it, what happens? It'll go from from short rolls to long long rolls as you progress up the uh, scale. And you hear Yeah. And so the thing is, once again, these are performances. So they've captured the, the percussionist uh, playing all of these beautiful, uh, huge percussion instruments. So we've got uh, bass drums and the same techniques uh, apply. Just some huge bass drums here. And um, let's see, snares. And you have the uh, hard and soft hits. Okay, the rods. Yeah, so you have sticks and rods. So which gives you, yeah, and you have the performances, the rolls. You can select between the sticks and the rods with those as well. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yeah, so that's really cool. Suspended cymbals. And I like the consistency of the interface. So once you get some things down, um, okay, okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's see what, um, okay, let's see. I might not be seeing it, Ben. Um, Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, there we go. So we've got the key info pop up. So it will tell you um, exactly what's going on. Thanks, thanks, Ben. <laughs> so we've got different roles and um, yeah, crescendos. Okay, one time, two times, and four times crescendos. And uh, so that gives you a lot of information. So you get a lot of detail uh, when you pop up that keyboard. So that's great. It's great to have my first officer Ben uh, in the um, in the capsule with us today. <laughs> so so it's really helpful. Uh, so we've got some symbols here. So let's just see. Let's pop up that keyboard again. 
Okay, so yeah, we've got rolls, uh, four upbeats, two upbeats, one upbeat. Um, okay, so here we go. Yeah. Yeah, so those different... That's what's so cool because the different articulations are being played by someone by, you know, they're not just, uh, it's not just a MIDI pattern or something. And that's what gives you that, that realistic dynamic uh, going on. Um, so super, super crashes. So let's pull that up. <laughs> so these are some crashes. And welcome everybody if you're just joining us. Um, yeah. Yeah. So those are some big crashes there. Um, and, um, you know, one of the things, too, is that, again, you have that synchron uh, mixer and player that can give you different mixes and different, uh, you know, just bring it in. Um, now, there's some big metal, heavy metal. <laughs> So once again, like I, I say again, it's a modular approach because you can have the symbols in one player and yeah, it's just really organic. It's just a really organic. Uh, yeah, they're just, they're just, that's really cool. Welcome, welcome, small metal, okay. Yeah, okay, so let's just, let's just look at that. Um, let's pull up the mixer. Um, yeah, so, so like what Ben just mentioned is that um, you have, um, okay, yeah, so you have these, recorded in the three different sections. So they have the, um, yeah, so they have the three sections uh, mapped out here. And you can, um, you can mute the sections or you can, you can mix and blend those different sections in the Synchron player. That's cool. Uh, yeah, see, and that's the thing. Once again, consistency. They have, um, uh, they, they just have it. Uh, where everything's recorded in the same space, so when you put it together, it just makes it just makes sense. Um, yeah, the room mix and the okay. So right here, you see the triangle and the um, the jingles and the cymbals. So you have all that together. So the monster drums. Let's pull that back up and see what happens. Um, yeah, so you have the bass drum, the taikos, you have it all right there. So you have control over that mix. Um, so the room mix presets here just make it all come together. Um, you know, so Dorado right now, uh, we'll pull it up. It is, uh, it's coming up here in uh, euros, so 95 euros uh, for, this, um, for this percussion library. Um, and what's cool is that you can, you can mix and match libraries, you know, with this, um, with what Big Bang lets you do. Um, so if you want percussion, you've got percussion here. And so these, these are, let's see, these are percussion. These are percussion riffs. And played with huge, huge drums here. And these are at 120 beats per minute, but we can go into the edit and we can turn the stretching on. And we can sync it to the B, yeah, yeah. So it's synced to the DAW tempo. And so let's use the key switches down here to go through the different riffs. Okay, so what happened is when I'm when I'm changing, when I'm holding the key down and changing the riff, it will not change until I re-trigger the key. Yeah. So 
So the, uh, the, the D is actually a single hit and the C, middle C is the uh, trigger that triggers the uh, pattern. And it just gets a little more complicated as we go. And then you have like sub, uh, subdivided riffs here. Here we go, let's see. Yeah, you've got different variations on some of these. So this is this uh, um, iridan <laughs> iridanus uh, iridanus uh, you know <laughs> however you slice it it uh, it gives you some powerful drum uh, drum beds uh, some drum loop potential here fornax this is tuned percussion can you imagine all three of the synchron pianos you you look at the stage here. And you've got the, the Bosendorfer, the Steinway, and the CFX surrounded by all of these other percussion instruments, which really provide just some very unique um, opportunities. Let's just say that. <laughs> Drums and pianos. So they've got all the pianos going. And you can blend these um, in the mixer view. You can blend the pianos. Yeah, so you've got the Imperial uh, and the Steinway and the timpani. So, so we can actually, let's just mute the timpani and the bass drum. So having all those layered makes it really interesting. Okay, so we're gonna unmute those. I'm gonna go to the um, Stereo Deca Decatree mix here. And again, this is a, I would, I would call this like a specialized, let's see, classic room mix. Just like a specialty or a character to just add a little bit of that extra flavor so you've got low bells and pianos. They give you different uh, instrument setups with this. Tubular bells. Yeah, it gets really, it gets really, Crazy. <laughs> okay, the high bills. And then gongs. The high gongs. So that's just a brief look at Fornax. Next we have Ganymede. And Ganymede is the choir section. Ganymede has like all of these different, uh, I think you've got 48 uh, voices. So you've got soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. Uh, you have the stacked, you have different sections. You can have the individual sections, chords and clusters. And again, recorded on the synchron stage, so you get that. So I'm gonna just pull up the main choir We have uh, velocity controlling some things. Good, and that's the legato. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to load up the soprano section. And you notice that each section is built on 12 uh, vocalists. Oh, did you hear that? That legato. That legato is nice. And you hear that legato, yes, it's beautiful. And and the, the cool thing is I can hear the individual voices kind of all blended in there. Uh, so the altos, the 12 altos here. And that's what brings uh, things to life. That's what makes an orchestra an orchestra because you have all of these different individual players, singers, musicians, and they're all coming together and That's just, let's go down some. Let's see, I've got, uh, yeah, so it remapped the controller. So let's do this. Let's just remap it again. You hear how it opens that up? That's beautiful. Tenors? <laughs> let's, let, let's not hurt them too bad. Yeah, that legato. You've got polyphonic legato. Basis. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Got short swells, the dynamics, and uh, big long swells. And that's the choir just, just naturally coming uh, a little bit louder and louder. My goodness. Yeah, so I like the expressivo. Yeah, it's it's great. <laughs> okay, so let's just see what else we've got here. Uh, we've got some effects. Um, so you've got major chords and clusters. Let's just kind of mess around with the cluster. So that's like. Um, a little Whitaker-esque. And Glissandi. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so Lyot performed. Performed Glissandi and all of these uh, shouts. Uh, let's see, shouts. Uh, yeah, softer. Gets more, more dynamic. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Shark bait. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So that's Ganymede. Now we're getting into the big boys here. Hercules is the low brass. So we've got um, four bass trombones, bass tuba, and a contrabass tuba. And you've got the extra fortissimo and uh, all the different microphone positions. And again, on the synchron stage, you see where they have the, the brass sections set up to maintain that consistency in the audio and that type of thing. So let's just take a look at Hercules. So let's do the short notes first. So that's the short notes, and it's got bold and agile. <laughs> yeah. Now this is without the contrabass tuba. Now this is with. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. That's what that's that's what we're talking about. And then the long notes. That is, that is big. That is incredible. Now we've got the legato here. Mm. Listen to how beautiful that is. That legato is beautiful. And regular with the extra loud layer. Let's just listen. Oh yeah, listen to that. That just rips. This is without. That is just amazing. It is, it is, it is big. So we've got some Fort Sando without the contrabass tuba first. I'm kind, I'm kind of wanting to play like French horns, but.
just gorgeous. And you've got some flutters and trills. <laughs> so you've got half tones and uh, whole tones and then fast repetitions. <laughs> but see, having these real articulations, um, it allows you to have the genuine performances and that's what makes it come to life. That's what makes it real. That's what makes it sound, um, um, oh my goodness. Ah. Okay, so you can expand the key ranges with this. Um, oh my gosh. See, there's just so much. There's so much going on here. And, and that's the thing. Everything is just, they, they don't just give you, they give you, they give you more than enough to, uh, to do what you need to do. So you've got glissandi. Oh. Okay, so that starts at the fourth and goes all the way down. And you can go up. And then you can go to major second. You mean that one? Yes. So you can increase the range uh, beyond what uh, what the normal range would be by uh, just clicking that range arrow right here. And then this pulls up little tabs that you can relocate the highest and lowest notes. Yeah. So this goes up a minor second. So yeah, so the arrow keys here. So let's just go to the short notes. So right here it ends on the G, but when I um, when I expand the key range, I can drag it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I can drag it down to here. Yeah, so so you can reassign these key switches eventually, you know, and uh, be able to take it down. That's with the contrabass tuba. Yeah, that is huge. Okay, let's go to Izar. Now these are clusters again. You know, you may say, well, why? Why are all these clusters and different things uh, here? It's because they they can capture uh, their performances in such a way that you can't necessarily do. So you can make a cluster chord, but it's not the same as, as the instruments in the room making that same chord because you get all the interaction with the acoustics and that type of thing. So so here are some of the um, uh, the clusters, the low brass clusters. <laughs> and the velocity. So these are some soft. And the longs, dynamics, so it'll just come in. So Izar is really interesting. So you've got Glissandi again. Yeah, it's just to get those weird, unusual things. So you've got the repetitions at 120 beats, 140, and I you can also do the stretching on there as well. And you have the mix positions, uh, just as you have with, with the rest of the libraries. One forty, one sixty. 
Yeah, the 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 features and the Synchron player are just um, incredible. So you've got you like bus effects and you know you've got all of these reverbs and all the effects and EQs with each uh, in, built into the player uh, that you can use for all of these libraries. Let's look at Jupiter. I love French horns. They use like six French horns. And, you know, I, th I think they say that they've experimented with different combinations, but the French horns, that six, that number of six was just like a perfect way to, uh, to do that. Um, and here you have the, um, the, the French horn sections right here. See what I'm talking about? Just absolutely. Nothing could get me more uh, more emotional, I guess, than French horns and uh, consordino strings. Oh, man. And then you've got the soft. Can you believe that? That is amazing. That is amazing. Beautiful. Just royal, just something royal. Just something. Moses. <laughs> it's like the Cecil B. DeMille is going to come out any moment now. Yeah. Let's go to Copernicus. You've got these beautiful trumpets here. So you got four trumpets uh, with all the microphone positions. Again, Studio A, Synchron Stage. You know, what more do you would you would you want? Plus being able to combine these with all these other ones. You hear that clarity and that sharpness in that. 
one. Yeah, very cool. So long notes, um, the long note sustains. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Now legato. Let's let's check out the legato here. Okay, I'm going to go to poly. See if we can do poly legato here. Yeah, that the legato is. What you can do with the key switch is it just makes it so easy to get around when you're sketching out things and playing um, dynamics, you've got the sforzando. And different uh, swells short. And they give you different lengths of swells just for the sake of a realistic performance. Okay, flutters and trills. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then whole tones. And some fast repetitions again. 120, 140, and 160. I kind of was playing around with some things. So I'm going to see where this tempo is set. With Andromeda... <laughs> See, with Andromeda, you can lay the foundation. You can just lay the foundation here. So we're going to lay some short notes down. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I think we kind of know what might be happening here. Okay, so I just laid the foundation with Andromeda here. Hercules, let's go to Hercules. Yes. Okay. If I can... Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So now let's take uh, Jupiter. Okay, here we go. And and this is how fast you can do something. That this, that's this is the this is the how fast we can do it. 
we go. Man. And this is what this is where I have the most fun. Does it sound familiar yet? <laughs> oh, does it sound familiar? It's going to pretty soon. So, so let's get the, uh, so let's get some um, short notes. Okay, so let me see how we can do this. Yeah. Okay. So here we go with uh, Copernicus on on the top, but you can see already. Um, you can hear how everything just kind of comes together. Um. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. But see, that's what I that's what I like about this is the the ease and speed on how you can do it. You can you can just come up with an idea like let's say uh, here's another here's another example I'm just going to throw out there with the Bosendorfer here. Uh, so you know how much I love. The Bosendorfers. Um, okay, and I'm just going to um, I'm just going to play something here, and um, here we go. Let's just see what happens. Now, let's just pull up, um, let's pull up Jupiter because I, I love what the French horns are doing. Let's just see where this goes. You know, I am, I am, I am someone that loves being in the moment. So we're playing back the Bosendorfer and we're going to put down some, um, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> just the sopranos with the legato and see we're just doing this just coming up with little ideas and uh, just seeing where that where it takes us
Yeah, so if you have, have it back in the back, it just adds flavor. It just adds a flavor there. And then lastly, I just want to thicken this up a little bit more. So we're going to um, go to Andromeda again with some long notes without the piccolo. No, that's with the piccolo. No. So let's take a listen and it's just remembering what you did. Sometimes, uh, sometimes when I'm playing, it's like I, I say, just remember what you're doing. Um, remember what you did the last time. Okay, so here we go. This is Andromeda. Yeah, so I mean, there you have it. There you have it. I mean, it's just amazing. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, being on this amazing journey. They they say that the universe is continuing to expand. And I have a feeling that that the Big Bang Orchestra is going to continue to expand. I just want to thank you guys for watching again and for all the support. I want you to make sure that you can subscribe and like and share. I want to keep doing more with these uh, these libraries and just to show you how uh, fun and expressive things can be. And it's just such a great joy to do it. So I once again thank you for joining us today. And it's just so much fun to discover. It's just so much fun to discover. And just like with the essentials, the essentials really got me really excited because just the potential. That is great. So, um, thanks for thanks for joining me on this ride. Uh, and this is Simeon with PraiseTracks.com. And on behalf of um, myself here, 
<laughs> and um, every one of us at Mission Control, and you know, music. And libraries are destinations. Uh, they are destinations. Uh, and boy, we have traveled to a lot of different worlds and uh, galaxies today. And uh, so glad you guys were a part of it today. And, uh, you know, again, if it's your first time here, make sure that you subscribe and click on those notifications. And, um, and let me know, um, you know, just, you know, all the ideas and suggestions and questions and that type of thing that allows me to be able to uh, do what I love to do. And that is to help you discover more. As I discover, when I discover something, the first thing that I want to do, I want to jump on here and I want to share it with you. And this has been brewing for a long time. And I just so appreciate all of the support. And um, until next time. You know, uh, even when we go off the stream, just leave your comments down below and uh, we'll do our best. Uh, I'll do my best and reach out to whoever and we'll, we'll get that information uh, back to you. So um, the journey's just beginning. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.